Live is your local election headquarters. The runoff for the new Congressional District 2 now just six days away. That new district includes much of Mobile and Clark counties and all of Washington, Monroe and Conecuh counties. And it also includes Montgomery, home of the two Republicans running. I'm telling my story. I feel great about it. Plenty of confidence entering the Republican runoff for Caroline Dobson and Dick Brubaker. Brubaker secured 39% of the vote in last month's primary. Dobson made the runoff by less than 600 votes, but she thinks she can make up the difference. I'm a fighter and I have spent day in, day out in this district. Dobson won only one county in March, Monroe, where she grew up. Greg Albritton won the other counties in the TV5 viewing area. Brubaker thinks he will do better in lower Alabama this time around. I did relatively better, you know, in the river region, Montgomery, Pike, Crenshaw, that area, because that's where the counties I represented in the legislature. And, you know, they knew me and they know my record. When it comes to priority issues, the candidates are very similar. Locally, improving Mobile's port. Nationally, closing the border. Internationally, fully backing Israel. It's our moral obligation to support Israel. We need to trust that Israel is the godly nation that it is. Israel, like the United States, has an absolute right to defend itself. An absolute right. What? Candidates are far less enthusiastic about supporting Ukraine in its fight against Russia. The NATO allies that we're protecting do their share when it comes to supporting Ukraine militarily. It can't all be on the back of the American taxpayer. We have to secure our own border before we focus on the Ukrainian border. Needing to make up a significant vote gap from the primary, Dobson has gone on the attack in the runoff. My opponent has voted to increase taxes uh, um, and he's openly criticized President Trump. Dick Brubaker, just another tax-raising, Trump-hating politician. Brubaker says both claims are false. Right after he got elected, President Trump proposed a tariff that would have raised the price of every airplane Airbus built by $10 million per airplane, make them completely non-competitive with, with, say, Boeing. And it wouldn't just have hurt Airbus. It would have hurt Mercedes and Hyundai, every transplant uh, manufacturer we have in Alabama. But thankfully, President Trump listened, and he changed his proposal. The votes that she quotes were me voting to put tax increases on the ballot so people could vote on them. And, you know, my personal belief is that legislators by themselves should not be able to raise taxes. The new District 2 was created by the courts to give African Americans the opportunity to elect another congressman in Alabama. But both Dobson and Brubaker say a Republican can win in November if they are that Republican. This seat is winnable by a Republican um, if, there's a, if it's a Republican who is a strong conservative. Every race I've run, I've gotten a... The moderates and independents in the River Region have always trended and voted for me. So the Republican can win this district, provided it's the right kind of right Republican candidate, and that's me. Now, tomorrow night on News 5, we'll focus on the Democrats in the runoff, Shamari Figures and Anthony Daniels.